What's up? Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. Probably the number one question I get asked aside from like, how's your music going? Is, tell me about your hair. Today was a wash day, and I'll be honest, it dried pretty nicely, but I've had better days. This I would say is like kind of a medium day, but I'm gonna show you what I did, and I'm also gonna check in with you tomorrow because usually day two is when my hair does its best. Like days two, three, four, five. But wash day is just kinda like, I feel like it gets a little bit weighed down from all the moisture in the water, honestly, when it air dries. There's so much water in it that it just like pulls down the hair so you don't get quite as much volume, but I am very grateful for my hair. I've found so much freedom and joy in wearing my hair natural. I feel like it is the essence of who I am coming out through the top of my head and I hope you feel that way about your hair too and it does take time to gain acceptance and love for your hair. I haven't always loved my hair. I've gone through so many different phases and periods where I've dyed it or I've bleached it. I even permed it at one point so that I could get the volume and texture up here to kind of match what's happening down here. And um, it's just so personal and your hair is unique to you. Um, but I hope this video helps. I hope that if you have wavy hair that you can find a place of acceptance specifically in that your hair probably isn't all the way curly and it's definitely not straight. And that can be a hard place to be. I feel like so many times hair care products are tailored to either straight hair or curly hair and the people with wavy hair are kind of left in the middle. I just hope you feel safe in your hair confident in your own skin um, and remember that you are beautiful just as you are I think that's all I wanted to say about that so yeah let's get to it and I'll show you how I do my hair welcome to my bathroom I'm taking out my hair I'm on day five here and I had it slicked back I love using this wet brush because the prongs are super gentle but on any kind of hair texture or length it's really smart to start from the bottom and slowly work your way up through the top to avoid breakage. If there is a really bad knot, maybe add a little bit of conditioner in that one spot and again, from the bottom to the top, be very, very gentle with your hair. Once you get to the roots, take the brush and swipe it along the scalp and then all the way down to the ends of the hair shaft. This helps distribute those wonderful natural oils that you have this is my favorite part. I love this silicone scalp brush. It's amazing. It helps stimulate growth. I feel like a puppy dog and it just feels so good. It helps lift off any product or dead skin off the scalp and away for the shampoo. Now, if you live anywhere with nasty chemicals and hard water in your pipes, this is important. It is a shower filter and I love it. It used to smell like a community pool anytime I would shower and now I can't smell anything at all and my skin doesn't itch and my hair is so much softer. So I would definitely recommend for your health to get a really good water filter. I'll link the one that I have below. Yes, I am pregnant and I'm wearing a swimsuit. Don't be creepy. Now for the shampoo. Get your hair soaking, soaking wet. Very important. Start raking your fingers through. Yeah, there's gonna be lots of hair that comes off when you rake your fingers through your hair. And I took about a quarter size amount and emulsify the product and then work it through the hair. I love having fake nails for this reason. I just get in there and really scrub the scalp. Now for the conditioner, we're sectioning the hair off into smaller sections and then we're getting the hair soaking wet, taking a pea size amount of conditioner and raking that through all the way to the end. After you've done this over every section, you rinse it out. I like to scrunch as I rinse. For the styling, I take my hair into three sections and I use just a tiny pea size amount again, working the product through each little section. This is the I Create Volume and I scrunch that in 
do a few more final scrunches, letting the water help diffuse the product evenly. This Crown Affair towel is amazing. I am so obsessed with it. It helps my dry time go down a ton. I plop my hair into it while I do my skincare routine. You could also use an old t-shirt or a microfiber towel. Just try not to use a regular towel because that can create unwanted damage and frizz. I'm not parting my hair here because I'm trying to let the curl and the wave pattern do its thing. I did separate my bangs in the middle as you can see. If I were diffusing I wouldn't do this step here but I'm lifting off the roots of my hair and just clipping it to help it dry a little bit. And then I'm going to take it out here. I'm about halfway dried. Just checking in. But my hair takes so long to dry. Like you saw at the beginning of the video, this is my hair by the end of the wash day. Okay. Ah! Oh, don't fall. Don't fall. This is day two hair. I slept with it down. Usually I'll sleep with it on a ponytail, but I've been trying out to see if like my volume can come in higher. It didn't really make a difference. But this is day two after yesterday. I still have a lot of good texture, but I love to just give it a little spray down with this continuous bottle, uh, continuous, continuous sprayer bottle. You can get it on Amazon or like any beauty store. I'll link it below. And the thing is you want distilled water because distilled water doesn't have chemicals in it. You could use tap water just fine, but when you're spraying your hair down every single day, those chemicals will add up over time. Just like crazy stuff in your pipes. And so for me, I just really love using distilled water. I keep a jug of it underneath my sink and I just refill this as often as I need. Cover my face. When Somebody on TikTok was telling me I should scrunch it, this upper layer, upside down. Literally just water. It like reactivates all the products that are already in your hair. On day three or four, I might add a little bit of gel or volumizing lotion that I have just to help it out. But um, yeah, there we go. Now I just let it air dry. The final result. Let me step back a little bit and move this curtain. One last thing. When I get like little frizzy pieces, I'll take the frizzy piece and twirl it into my finger. Here's a, here's a really good frizzy one. I love that I can't even look into the camera. So you take a frizz and you just twirl it. Why is frizz a bad thing, you know? Frizz is just normal. Frizz doesn't have to be bad. Yeah. That's the hair. The hair care tutorial. What works for me may not work for you and that's totally okay. I hope, you know, what resonates will help you out and if not, no worries. If you want to see other hair tutorials, let me know what you want to see and we'll do it together. Let me know if you have questions. Thanks for being here. Um, I'll see you guys in the comment section. Yeah. I think that's it. Have the best day. See you next time. Yeah, this is my pregnancy pillow. My husband calls it a snake. <laughs> it kind of is one. Um, I just got it two days ago and it's literally changed my back pain. Like, it's helped so much. So, love her even though she's an ugly little thing on my bed. Ugh, it's hideous, but it's so needed.